Hi everybody, welcome back to Pokemon! Now we're doing the super fun, exciting part where we look at all the Pokemon we just caught. Um, move Pokemon. Wow, we got a whole bunch. No, we don't want to move them yet, we want to summary them. So obviously we've got our Swamp Pet. Oh, we got Gotharita! We've got our little Casey. Uh, it's a hardy nature and it likes to run! And it's holding a macho brace already. What are its stats? Um, 20, 39, 40, 40 18. Oh, it's pretty slow. Gotta get rid of that macho brace. Thick fat. Ups resistant to fire and ice moves. Oh no! Thick fat! That's not a nice thing to say to little Casey while she's dieting. Ooh. Right, Hyper Fang. 50. Uh, 85, bites sharp target, make them flinch, hurricane, 55, 40, not great, may confuse, 60, 95, karate chop, um, break barriers such as light screen and reflect, that's cool, that's good, um, and stealth the rock, uh, puts a trap, hurts them when they switch, right, so not great, obviously, brick break and hyper fang, they're the okay ones, um, and then Hurricane and Stealth Rock will replace with uh, TMs or HMs or whatever. Right, you. You are relaxed nature and you scatters things often. My Tortuga, my Captain Jack, with no item. And your stats, 33, 17, 35, 62, and 22. Frisk, you can check the opponent's held item. Tail Glow. Stares at flashing lights to focus mind, raises special attack. 100% accuracy. Uh, ooh, Leaf Blade, 95, 85, 75, 85. Handles sharp leaf like swords. Critical hits land more easy. Nice. Wow! 190, or 90 power, 100 accurate. The user attacks the target by encircling it in sharp leaves. May also lower accuracy. So that's obviously our best move. So we go Leaf Tornado, and then Leaf Blade, and then Magnet Rise. Um, user levitates using electricity generated by magnetism for five turns. I'm not sure how that's useful, apart from maybe it can avoid things like Earthquake and Fissure. Right, you, Pigman, you're naughty nature, and you scatter things often. You're, you're, my, you're my Midnight Ham. You're my naughty Midnight Ham. You're a water type. You're also a little bit dark. Ooh. Um, what, what, what have you got for me? 34, 35, 41, 49, 29. Not bad. Powers up water type moves. You don't have any of those. You have fire moves. And no item. Right, this is a tackle, but it does uh, damage to... It deals you a lot amount of damage. So no, never use that. that that's a kill us move. So we'll just put that right at the back already. Right, present. The user attacks by giving the target a gift with a hidden trap. It restores HP sometimes, though. Oh, that's Deli Bird's move. Oh, I love it. I'm going to keep that. Warp Mud Shot, 155. May reduce speed, 155. Uh, target stat change don't affect this attack's damage. Uh, okay. So if it weakens me, uh, this attack doesn't get weakened. The target stat changes don't affect this attack's damage. Right, so we'll put that one in the lead. Yeah. Right, so steam. Okay, fair enough. Oddish! Right, so you're gentle in nature, but you're thoroughly cunning. Ooh, 420 is thoroughly cunning, holding onto some light clay. Um, and your moves. Okay, 28, 23, 33, 29, 27, not bad. Powers up fire type moves. You don't have any fire type moves. Your moves are water, dragon, ghost and dragon. Okay, 45 accuracy. And snares with a gooey silk so it can't flee from battle. Could come in handy for catching some wild Pokemon. Although generally not a useful move. Flattery is used to confuse and it may raise special attack. Oh, so if I flatter somebody they might get confused by me. But it might make them angry and up their special attack. Right, fair enough. Iron Tail, 150, 100. The target is slammed with Steel Hard Tail, may lower defense. Obviously. And then Snatch. The user steals the effects of any healing or stat changing move that they attempt to use. Okay, so Snatch is not bad. 
flatter snatch. Iron tail is incredible. Oh my gosh, 420. You have hidden punch. Right, Mareep, you're lonely in nature, and you're from, you're impedious and silly, and you're holding onto a cherry berry. Woo, and you're a dragon. Dragon Mari. Okay, what have you got? 26, 26, 37, 14, and 6, 40. Guts. Boosts attack if there's a status problem. Okay, so only if there's a status problem. Who the hell is doing that? A motorbike going past right now. A friggin' motorbike was just going by. What the heck? I'm trying to do a video here in case you didn't notice. You dang idiot. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you with the. Really was. Okay, he's leaving it. He's driving out into the distance now. Right, should be back to normal. God, that blasted my ears. Hope it didn't blow out the audio on the microphone. Right, the user protects itself by wrapping its body in soft cotton, drastically raising defense. Cotton guard makes total sense for my sleep power, for my sheep power. Um. Cotton guard, yeah. With 75 accuracy, but raises defense. Right, gear grid. 30, 20. User attacks by throwing two steel gears. Nope. 100% confuses. Signal beam, 155. May confuse. So that makes confuse beam irrelevant, gear grind irrelevant, and cotton guard is ba vaguely acceptable. Right, was that everybody? Ah, uh, that seems to be everybody. That was all my people. Uh, but we had also left a guy sitting in the daycare, so we could go and find out how he's doing. So they're all in their early 20s, except for you, Swamp Pert, my swamp pet. And little Casey, I'm tempted to put on my team. Um, but you might not have the best stats out of everybody. Lilip might. Because um, Lilip knew... What did Lilip know? Why, why do I think Lilip was the best? Alright, let's run back through again. Um... Lily wasn't the best. Oddish was. Oddish has Iron Tail. And Oddish can evolve twice. And Oddish's current stats are decent. Yeah, so you might have to take Oddish and put on the team. If we can level up Oddish, who knows how far we can go. Um, but you're so cute, Gothara. Why don't I think that you're great? What is your stats again? Yeah, not bad, except for your speed. So if we get rid of your march brace and teach you something with 100% accuracy, we might be all right. Right, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take a bunch of Pokemon. We're basically gonna swap out all of our current Pokemon for these ones, and then go check out the TMs and the HMs and all of that nonsense. It's gonna be such fun. Oh, what such good times. It is doing this. Also, we might swap who's in daycare and whatnot, too. Um, Oddish. And my reap. You're coming with me. Right, there we go. We've got a team of totally different, totally random Pokemon. Hooray. Now. That's cool. Now you, you're giving me this. I'm taking your light clay, I'm taking your cherry berry, and I'm taking your macho braise. None of you needed any of that crap. So there you go, I got little Casey Swamp Pet, Captain Jack, 420 Ham, four, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna switch you two, it's a better order. Actually, you need to be in the lead, as you're, both of you, are the two that are, ah, oh, no, but I, I want little Casey to level up too. Little Casey's got so much HP compared to everyone else. I wonder if little Casey's got a chance of evolution. So now I've got three girls and three boys. Oh my goodness. Right, let's check out our moves. We're going to go through all of the moves now. So somebody has to learn strength. 85, 65, not great. Right, we'll figure out strength later once we finish out our, our final team. Uh, 80, 40, not great. 130, 50, not great. 95, 75, that's all right. Let's consider it. Incinerate, who can learn that? Almost everybody. Right, so we're definitely going to teach it to 420 um, so that you've got some alternate moves. Snatch, 
Uh, steals their item. Flattery confuses but raises their attack. Spiderweb is essentially nothing. So you need to learn like three new moves for 20. So we, we need to teach. Okay, no, so 1795, not bad. And it can combine with another move to make a swamp. Um, we'll just see who can learn it. Uh, unable, unable. Oh, you are able. A bunch of you people are able. Okay. Uh, smelling sold. 185. Unable, but you are able. Okay, so. What have you got again? Cotton Guard. So signal Beam wasn't great. Cotton Guard was okay. Grind Gear was useless. You've also got Confused Beam. That was also useless. Uh, Shadow Claw, 90, 85, not bad. Critical hits land more easily. Um, oh, little Casey and 720 can learn. Nice. Shadow Claw. So you had Brick Break, Hyper Fang, Hurricane, and Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock wasn't useful. Hurricane doesn't look great. We'll get rid of Hurricane this time. Shadow Claw. Flash, just illuminates caves. Ice Fang. Mega Punch! Who wants to learn Mega Punch? Oddish can't, Sheep can, Little Casey can, Ham can, Captain Jack can't. What have you got again? You've got Double Edge. That's like a kill you move. We're gonna get rid of that. I'm trying to kill you with a kill you move. Leech Life! Everyone needs to learn Leech Life. All of you, right now. 720, you can learn Leech Life. Yes, you can. You will get rid of. So you've got Iron Tail, wow, Incinerator, all right. Flattery may confuse Spiderweb. Barely does fuck all. And now you've got Leech Life. Uh, everyone else needs to learn Leech Life as well. Oh my god, such a great move. Captain Jack, you can learn Leech Life. What have you got? Uh, that's good. It's not bad. Um, raise a special attack. Uh, levitates. We don't know what the point of levitating was, so we'll get rid of that. 720 ham, guess what? You can absorb flavor now. You can suck the flavor out of other things. Uh, so mud shot, uh, may lower speed, mega punch. Um, attacks giving the, a hidden trap, restores HP sometimes. Oh, I like present. Oh, mega punch is just a shittier version. They're both steel types. I might as well just get rid of mega punch. And that frees up 420 ham to learn something else. Um, dig. I didn't teach anybody dig. I didn't teach anybody superpower. Uh, incinerate. I did teach some people. Uh, incinerate is better than grass pledge. Just by both PP and accuracy. Um, smelling salt is useful. It's strong. Really strong. Who can learn that? More or less everybody. It's a little Casey. Obviously, you have to learn it because you've got Hyper Fang, 60, 90, 85. Um, stealth Rock, levitating items. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know why it's there. Getting rid of that. Smelling Salt, we can also teach Captain Jack, Swamp Pet, Ham. Ham needs some salt. We need some salt with that ham. Are we going to present that ham? Mud shot. Mud does not belong with ham. Um, may reduce speed. And it's a fire type. Oh, present is normal type. And we don't know what the power is, and it does sometimes heal, despite the fact that it's cute and I love it. It's not, it's not efficient. It's not efficient. We're learning present. We're getting smelling salt. Um... Grass Pidge is pretty cool though. Uh, Shadow Claws, not bad. Flash. I think almost everybody's learned what they were going to learn. We might teach Smelling Salt to Swamp It and Captain Jack as well. Captain Jack. Tail Glow, Raise Special Attack. Leaf Blade's not bad. Leaf Tornado. Oh, okay. Leaf Blade, Critical Hits. Not bad, 190, ooh, not bad. Raises special attack, 100% accuracy, drastically raises the attack. Oh, it might just be 80, 75, 90, 75. Yeah, it might be better to just leave him with what he's got. So we're not gonna teach it to him. 
No. No. Yes. Smelling salt, we will try and teach to Swamp It though. He can be salty. How salty do you want to be? What were your moves again? Power split. Uh, switches attack and special attack stats with the target. Automize. Sheds part of its body to make itself lighter and raise speed. Nice. Spray countless bubbles, jet it at the opposing team. Double edge, does heaps of damage to me. That's the kill me move. No, you don't want the kill me move, Swamp Pet. Swamp Pet's got a whole bunch of shitty moves. Can you learn this one? Yeah, you can, okay. Shadow Claw. Uh, that can replace Power Split. Automize kind of seems cool. We'll probably keep Automize. Um, incinerate. Can you learn Incinerate, eh? What about it? Yeah, you can. Um, bubble, 1795. It's 95.75. 95.75. 95.75. Normal move, flying move. Um, the berry can become burnt up, may lower speed. Lowering speed could come in handy because I can speed up and slow them. It's an interesting combo. 90, 75, 75, 95. Maybe incinerate isn't the right move, but there could be a move. Nah, we'll teach him incinerate. We'll get rid of bubble. Because bubble only might do whatever. Incinerate does seem to catch people on fire quite often. Um, yeah, there you go. We haven't taught anybody strength yet. Uh, let's go to the daycare. Switch out our people with our blimmin' lizard crocodile man. He should be in the daycare at the moment. Come on, off to the daycare. And let's talk to the daycare man now. What does he have to say? I'm glad you came. Your cronk is doing just fine. Oh, nice. What about you? When I picked up my Pokemon from the daycare, it learned different moves. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, we can leave another Pokemon. We can leave two Pokemon. So obviously Swamp Pet, because he's our weakest Pokemon. So now you're raising two Pokemon for us. You didn't tell us you could raise two this entire time. Uh, Kronk has grown by 13 levels. And it'll cost $14 if I want him back. Yeah, yeah, bring him to me. I want to have a ch I want to look at this lizard. Thank you. No, I don't want to take back the other one too. Swamp Pet can stay. Um, Kronk, what have you got? Level 29, and you've learned soft-boiled. Somewhat vain, docile nature. Krokronok, oh, your stats are looking good. Storm Drain, draws in all water type moves. Draws in all water type moves to up special attack. So anybody hits me with water and you get stronger. Or at least in your special attack. Uh, mud Sport, covers itself with mud, weakens electricity. Soft-boiled, restores its own HP up to half of its HP. May also be used in the field to heal HP. 100% accuracy. Nice, we got a healing move. Crush Grip. The target is crushed by great force. The attack is more powerful with the more HP I have. 95. Rolling Kick. 100, 100 might make them flinch. Nice. So if we get rid of Crush Grip and Mud Sport. Um, yeah, wow, doing, doing all right, Crocronok. And uh, we can leave another person here t with the lady. Should it be 420 Ham, Captain Jack? Oh, it's hard to decide. You, you're doing all right on stats. Uh, you're doing all, not great on defense. Uh, you're not doing great on speed. You're not doing great on special defense. You're doing great all round. So obviously 420 is the best. Sheep power, you're pretty good. I quite like you, yeah, but no, you're you're awesome. Your speed is low. I might have to put little Casey in daycare. Oh, it's cute. It'll be cute if I do that. Um, but then I don't have little Casey on my team. But then little Casey can't die. You don't die while you're in daycare. Okay, that'll be great. Uh, torrent. Uh... So you're a ham, and you're a male. And you are a female little Casey. I wonder if they'd make an egg together. Be weird. Be a weird egg if they did. I'm the daycare lady. Which Pokemon do we want to raise? I'm going to drop off little Casey at the daycare. Oh, we'll take care of little Casey for a while. Come back later. And I want to take back my swamp pet. Yes. 
It was worth a hundred even though it didn't level. So remember that. No, I don't want to take back little Casey. I want to put another Pokemon in there. Who are we going to leave in there? Kronk, you're already at a good level. Swamp Pet, oh, I don't care about you so much anymore. Ham. Sheep. Captain Jack. Oh, Captain Jack knows leech life. You might come in handy later. I think the ham knows leech life too. Oh, yeah, you three. You three all know leech life. You don't. Neither do you. So I'm more likely to level up Captain Jack in 420 than the ham. So yep, we're gonna leave Casey with some Midnight Ham. Midnight Ham and Casey are the two Pokemon being left in the daycare. So now let's switch back to our other Pokemon, since there's a PC in here. Um, right, you, do we want to keep you? Maybe. Um, we want to potentially at least check out your, your, your stats. So Mareep, you're going away. Uh, Croc Renoc, yeah, we were going to check your stats. You're going away. And then you three. You three might be coming with me. Um, no, I didn't want to finish. I wanted to... What am I doing? Continue. No, we're going to leave. Ah, oh, God damn it! I'm stuck in an endless loop. Right, there we go. Woo. That was close. Right, so which ones of these ones want to go back on the team? You, you're going to evolve soon. You need to go back on the team. Um, you, you potentially can evolve. You're going back on the team. Um, oh, nope. Now you're not going to evolve, you're not going to evolve, although you might with the Leaf Stone. You are going to potentially evolve, you're not going to evolve, but you've been... You've been a sniper this whole time. Ah, oh, but you have a healing move, you've got Synthesis. Ah, uh, the egg. I need to get a Leaf Stone for the egg. Ah, uh, but what if you can just level him up? I'm not sure. Right, we'll go with those ones for now. Yep, 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 yep. And we need to teach one of them strength. Okay, back to our TMs and our HMs. Leech life. Can Croc Renoc learn leech life? Yes! Croc Renoc, Kronk can learn leech life. Oh my goodness. Mud Sport gets rid of electric, crush grip. Uh, it's got a healing move, it's got rolling kick, yeah, so mud sport, get rid of mud sport. Do we have something to swap with crush grip? Uh, mega punch, it's not great, it's not great. Smelling salt is our other strongest move right now. Um, unable, oh, okay. Shadow claw is not bad. Um, incinerate's not bad, 75, 95. Shadow claw is 90, 85, it's gotta be shadow claw. It's got to be Shadow Claw. Yep, Kronk. And you're going to learn instead of Crush Grip. Nice. Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw critical hits land more easily, but Incinerate can sometimes leave a burn. And Incinerate is 95. Shadow Claw is only 90. I think we've got a good mix. I think we have a good mix. Right. Um, strength. Who can learn Strength. Strength can be learned by Kronk. Freebase. Freebase will become an HM slave though if I teach it to Freebase. Freebase already knows Cut. You're already carrying Cut around with you. Kronk, do you really want to learn Strength? It's not bad actually. 85, 65, Dragon. Um, 85, 65, 90, 85. Rolling kick is 100, 100, 80, 100. Soft board is 100 with HP. Right, so Shadow Claw was short lived, huh? Right, now let's also switch up our items and switch around our moves. Wow, you have two Pokemon that can, two moves that can be used outside of battle. Now I want to, what do I want to do? I want to swap your moves around. Right, here we go. So, Rolling kick. Can go second, leech life can go first, soft build last, strength can be last, soft build below, leech life and roll and kick at the top. Um, I just realized all of your moves are physical moves. 
so you might not be the best in certain situations. Uh, 720, I want to level you up. Captain Jack, you're doing all right. You three already have items. You three don't have items. What moves do you have? You have Ghost, Flying, Dragon, and Steel. Ghost, Flying, Dragon, and Steel. Ghost, Flying, Dragon, and Steel. Dragon, Fire, and Steel. And you have Steel, Rock, and Dragon. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Ghost, Flying, Dragon, Steel. Ghost, Flying, Dragon, Steel. Now I go flying, dragon steel. Macho breast, light clay. Um, it extends the duration of light beam moves. Quick claw makes you quick. Power ankle to power promotes speed gain on leveling, but reduces the speed stat. So it reduces your speed in battle, but it promotes speed gain when leveling. That seems like something we need to give to little Casey before she does too much leveling. So I'm gonna have to put a Pokemon away. Yep, okay, someone's PC, deposit a Pokemon. Uh, you, you're at the very back. You're deposited, right. We need to get Casey's speed up, because that's what she was losing with. Yeah, 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 bring, bring, bring. Thank you, no, I don't want the other one back. Item, power anklet, give to little Casey. She has given the power anklet to hold. And now she can go back to the daycare. Which Pokemon do we want to take? Little Casey. Bye, little Casey. I trust you with this old lady. And